you're still a woman with feelings. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't change. You, yeah, you don't, you don't want to know the, uh... I don't want to know. No, you don't, to the everyday mm -hmm. hazards or details or near misses or scares. You don't want to hear that. But you know, I'll find out, because I always do. If you found out a quarter of the stuff that oh, happens, there you go. you'd flip out. I would love Marilyn to come out and see me, but as for the work goes... You know, I, I do not want her to see that. I don't want her on the job to witness what we do. It's just better that way. If she, <laughs> it's just better if she doesn't see that because it just saves a fight. Saves a relationship is what it does. The next job that we start, um, it's, it is going to be extremely difficult. You don't have any room for error. We're just gonna have to get it done safely as possible. If it can be done safely. And if it can't be done safely, we're not gonna do it. Air 2 are about to start their most hazardous job yet. The guys' lives are in jeopardy. With, without any exaggeration to say that, all of them are in jeopardy underneath us while we're doing this. And uh, when I was first told about it, I was uh, really quite skeptical that we should even attempt it. And it may be that uh, if we can't get it right during the practicing and we can't figure out a, a safe way to do it, that we won't do it at all. On a power line which is 161,000 volts, the old wooden cross arms need replacing with steel. It's work which has never been attempted before, and if they can pull it off, they'll get a contract to do the work all along the line. The work is so risky, the team must first practice on a de-energized line. Gotta watch out for the heat. It's extremely hot. Before they start, they run through last minute safety procedures. You're working with suspended loads over your heads, watch your pinch points. Chief Pilot Jono is here to closely monitor the practice run. Just remember when we're bringing that arm in to, um, the pilot cannot see one end of that thing. He's brought in one of Air 2's most experienced pilots, fellow Brit Paul Towell, to carry out the work. Super slow, guys. Yeah. Super That's, slow. Uh, He's been flying for nearly 15 years, the last 18 months with Air 2. Don't spin it. Right. Otherwise, it'll start to turn, and once it's turning, the momentum of that thing, you're not going to stop it. Roger. Be safe, gentlemen. They're working from the structure's wooden posts. When working live, if they get too close to the wires, the electrical current can jump to their bodies and travel down those posts forming a circuit to the ground. The result? Instant and fatal electrocution. They absolutely cannot touch the lines. They can't actually come within uh, several feet of the lines. This is the, uh, the critical part for us when the line's actually live. It's 500 pounds of steel. A large part of this will determine whether or not uh, this is a viable process for us. It's critical the guys perfect their techniques. There'll be no room for error when the line is live. To keep a safe distance from the wire, the team must use non-conductive poles to carry out the work. They can't touch anything. They're doing it all from the end of sticks, all from the end of ropes. And that's, that's where the real work is done, the real skill is involved in, in, in this work. The practice run is complete, and they've successfully attached the cross arm onto the structure. I think we got it. It's just going to take a couple to get a, into rhythm. We'll have a debrief uh, when everyone's on the ground. Uh -huh. You've got to watch that, swinging that, yeah, that sling across. That thing was down in the phase. The team have to iron out a few problems, yeah. and they'll be ready to start on the live line tomorrow. You were climbing up. You know, you got to remember that every inch of that is going to be hot. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Till the last guy's off. Yeah. So everyone will be 100% on their game, and they'll take everything that they learned today and apply it tomorrow to keep themselves alive and out of harm's way. With the stakes so high, Thomas still won't allow girlfriend Marilyn to come and visit. My baby. 
you know, the biggest thing is, if something were to happen to me, I don't want her there. I don't want any of my family there. And that's my decision to make. Whether it's selfish or not, it's still my decision. And I'm gonna stay strong on that. I'm pulling the man card out, and I'm saying this is the way it is. And she respects that, she does. It's not that I'm being a jerk, it's not a fight between us, it's just something we've talked about, and that's the way I feel, and she, you know, she respects that. It's D-Day for Air 2. They've practiced on a de-energized line, and now they'll be working on a live line with a massive 161,000 volts. A voltage as low as 240 can kill, so the risks are enormous. It's business today. I mean, this is what we get paid for. We get paid for the impossible, so it's going to be an extreme challenge for everyone. Um, you know, the statistics are the first 10% of a job and the last 10% of jobs when people get hurt. Today is energized, so any mistakes you make, it's death. After the break, the team hit a problem which could jeopardize the whole job. Fuck you, wait now, hey! A team from specialist power line company Air 2 are in Arkansas, about to attempt work which has never been done before. Our goal is today is to get home safe, everybody. That's the big thing. We don't want anybody to get hurt today. Having practiced on a de-energized line, the team will now carry out the work on this high voltage live line for the first time ever. The line is a massive 161,000 volts as little as 240 is enough to kill. Going hot on this 161, just slow down, take your time, watch every move you make and every move your partner makes and make sure it's your right move. Good head signals, please. Good head and signals. I'm just gonna try and be as smooth and slow as I can. And everybody watch out for everybody. Let's get her done. The stakes are real high, there's no room for errors. If there's anything that anyone's doing that will jeopardize the job, I'll call it off. The old wooden cross arms need replacing with steel. Working from the wooden structures, if the linemen get too close to the live wires, the electricity could jump to their bodies, travel down the posts, and form a circuit to the ground, killing them instantly. If I get any closer than four feet to that wire, then it's gonna get me. And it'll knock the line out and kill me. It'll be a big, big boom and probably a fireball. Everybody's gotta be on their game. To keep a safe distance from the live wires, the team will be using non-conductive poles called hot sticks as tools for the job. It's vital they don't break the clearance distance and get too close to the lines. When you're hot sticking a 161 line or any energized line, breaking your clearance is what could go wrong. You do not want to break your clearance. It could be a very bad thing. It may not make it off. There is no room for error with the hot sticks. The work cannot start without checking that they're 100% non-conductive and safe. You know, this is a big deal for us. We have to make sure these things are gonna work. Make sure there's no cracks in them that can hold the voltage that we want them to hold. If it gets up into the red, the needle gets to the red, the stick is no good. Every man's life depends on the stick testing. The challenge for me as the pilot when I bring the guys into the structure is trying to get them as close as I can to it so that they can transfer quickly and safely. Making sure I bring their equipment in as, as smoothly and precisely as I can because there's not a lot of room for error. I don't want to be getting too close to that energized line. So everything basically just slows down that extra bit more. I've got to be smooth and pre as precise as I can. Communication is key in this job. I can't talk to the guys on the structure when I'm above it because they can't hear me. What we're doing is really quite precise and the only way they can communicate is with their head signals and their hand signals. If they want me to go up, they'll nod. Just 
quite frantically and if they want me to go down they'll just shake their head. And the key is for all of them to be doing the same thing. The new cross arm is 500 pounds of steel and placing it safely into position is Paul's greatest challenge. Kind of tricky, I've got to bring one end into one guy who's on the top of the pole. He's going to help me turn it, we're going to lower it, and then I'll kind of bring the other end into the other guy on the other, the other pole. And we don't have anywhere to go. If anything was to cut loose or to break, we're there. but bringing in the cross arm isn't going to plan. When the new cross arm was coming in, initially it wasn't that smooth. I don't know if he you know, had some problems with wind up there or, or other issues, I don't know. But initially it, it, it didn't go so great. What's he waiting on, Jack? There was a bit of confusion because when Thad caught that end of it, I misunderstood what he was doing with the, that end. And I wasn't quite sure what his plan was. I was trying my best to get it to where I could maneuver it and keep my hands on it because I did not want to let go. I just, I just did not want to let go. Paul's first attempt has failed and the job can't continue if there's any confusion. You guys are doing different things sometimes. Are we? Yeah. So if that makes you, I'll do whatever you do. All right. With procedures clarified, Paul tries again. Get him up! Get him up! Get him up! I got it in the horse, babe! With the cross arm in place, the team can now focus on detaching the live power line from the old insulators. You know, the issue working with, uh, with sticks is uh, we're trying to do very, very delicate work. It's like threading a, uh, a string through a needle, you know. The, uh, the end of our sticks from where we are is seven and a half foot away, and we're trying, you know, to do very delicate work with them. At the end of the hot sticks is 161,000 volts. Yeah. It's crucial they don't breach their safe working distances at any time they cannot afford a moment's loss of concentration. We can't extend our arms out all the way to help us hold these sticks. Um, we have to keep our hands less than four feet away from that live line. You know, we work in a box. You know, there's an invisible line around us. A good rule of thumb is if your elbows can touch your stomach, that's about where you want to be. You know, always stay in as close as you possibly can. After two hours of intense focus, the job is finally done. I thought it went quite well, considering it was the first one we'd done energized. Yeah, I think uh, I'm, I'm pleased with it. Nobody got hurt. You know, when I brought that arm in uh, that first time, it would have been nice if it had gone real smooth. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how everything went, really. It went well. I'm really didn't get one under a belt. Hot. I think it went real good. Everybody did a fine job. For us tonight, we'll be able to relax, call home, and let everybody know that it worked out good for us, and I'm going to have real good sleep tonight. There's no feeling like any other when you start a job and then you can leave with everybody who came on it, and the job is complete. The whole job is done. You've got, got somewhere else to go. You've got somewhere new to go, something else new to do. The job's been a great success. And now they'll secure the contract to carry out this work, all along the line. It's been a first for the team, and a breakthrough for the industry. It's just incredibly cool that we're the first ones to do this, because we are going to be the guys that they call, because they're going to say, how did you guys do that? And you know, we're going to tell them, well, we tried this, 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 and this, and it all didn't work, but this did, and this is how we did it. And I'm very, very proud to be a lineman. Extremely proud.
Next week on Danger Men, capturing Africa's most ferocious animals. We'll kill you.